Hi everyone, welcome back to this week's video. So in today's video, I'm showing you all what I'm taking on holiday with me when I go next weekend. I'm literally so excited, like I can't believe I'm actually going away. So I thought I would show you all what products I'm taking with me. I've got them all here. I've got like all skincare, then we've got some sun creams, which I want to talk about, and then some like after sun as well. So yeah, I thought I would just show you all what I'm taking with me when I go on holiday next weekend. So girlfriends, get comfortable because this is going to be a long video. Let's just jump straight into it. Oh, before I start as well, ignore me here. I always say this in every video, don't I? Oh. I don't even know what I've done today. I've got like a little low bun in the back. So if you think, what's that in the hair? Don't you a little bun? <laughs> right, okay, let's just jump straight into it. So I've got... All right, okay, I'll show you this first. So I've got this, and this is something that I use religiously everywhere I go, no matter whether I'm going on a, like a weekend away or like a city trip or a two-week holiday. This, I absolutely love. My mum got me it for Christmas one year, and it's basically, it's just a plastic... Um, travel bag really but it comes it also came i don't think i've got them with me it also came with all um smaller sizes as well and anything like this i just think is so ideal because you can literally see where everything is it's nice and neat and compact and it does wonders for my ocd yeah so let's just start with this so i'll go through all my products that i'm taking with me all my like my goodies my hair care all that kind of stuff is in here and then this type of stuff doesn't actually fit but i like i don't like to put my spfs in there anyway i will keep them separate so what i'll do i'll go through all this and then those yeah let's just jump straight into it so all opens up it looks like this i don't think you can really see it but this side my right hand side is all my skincare and then this side's like all my toiletries so let's just i'll go through all my skincare first and show you all what i've taken okay so first off obviously is cleanser so i've actually got two cleansers with me i'm gonna take a normal cleanser for day to day and then i'm also gonna take a makeup removing cleanser for the evening because i just like to make sure i get all my makeup off first but to be honest with you sometimes they're on holiday there'll be days where i don't wear it at all because i just i'm not a huge fan of makeup believe it or not like i don't always wear it i love it i love playing with it but I'd, sometimes i don't always wear it so there might be days where i don't wear it so but i thought i will still bring the two cleansers so i've just got the cure this is the rose aim hot Club cleanser i mentioned this in my favorite last month and they are so great for traveling with like it literally just fits perfect and that is i think yeah 75 mil that one then i'm also taking this super duper cute cleansing butter from the body shop so i used the bigger one this is the cleansing chamomile butter it's absolutely amazing and it is the dupe for clinique take the day off so when i saw that the body shop had brought out the smaller size i was like oh my god that is going to be perfect for holiday so i got it and it was literally five pounds so this is it and you can get them in the body shop i did get them off a body shop rep her name was anna she was so lovely and that's it so that's coming with me then oh also she sent me this as well and i want to say for my holiday it is a pot of flannel from the body shop as well so i thought i'll take that too but then i also have my flannels also what i'm going to be taking too so i'll probably take about five flannels i know the hotels have them anyway but i always just like to take me home just in case okay coming on to toner as always nothing changes i always take a glycolic acid away with me I always use a glycolic acid anyway so this is just from the cure and i've just actually had a notification on my phone from maldi to say that the skincare is back in next sunday so it's on the special buys as well so if you go into aldi next sunday i think all the new skincare is out so definitely go and check it out but yeah this is just from the liqueur range so brand new bottle as always let's take all fresh unopened bottles on a holiday does anyone else get like that and i also love to buy all new underwear as well i like to have packets of everything so it looks all nice and fresh it's the ocd in me so yes yeah, so that's my toner okay so when it comes on holiday i love to take gorgeous serums and oils away with me because i love the holiday glow and especially when you've got like a little bit of tan as well i literally love the glow it gives to your skin so i've bought a few oils with me two are hyaluronic acids and then two are just gorgeous nice oils so the first product this is from skin by katie i think it's Sp spells any spells any is that a nice second name spells any or spells any no spells any katie spell zinni i think it is so sorry i'm pronouncing it wrong but i love that second name so this is what i'm taking with me it is a hyaluronic acid and it's got b5 in it and what it is it's a hyaluronic acid and what i like to do i like to take it 
of the morning and put it on my skin and then of evening as well. I just put a small amount on and then just work it into my skin. It's gorgeous. I'm also taking Marine Hyaluronics as well. A lot of people probably think I'm like, Steph, you do not need all that. And I probably don't, but, you know, I am a skincare junkie, so I can't help myself. I literally can't. And then, oil-wise, these are so gorgeous. So, for daytime, I've got the Daily Revive and Concentrate from Kiehl's. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's a vitamin C as well. I think it might even be an antioxidant too, which is also amazing. And then for the evening, oh, I've been loving this. I literally have been loving it so much. This is the Garnier oil. The, I think it's the Organic Sleeping oil so gorgeous so what i would do of a daytime say if i'm just like by the pool or whatever i'll obviously still have my spf on and then maybe i might put i might put that on first for a little bit of a glow and then my spf over it or there might be some days where i don't use it i might just put like my moisturizer and the spf on but i always do like to have choices as well because i always think on holiday imagine if you forget something like that's my worst fear is forgetting something thinking oh i wish i would have brought it so that's why i do go a little bit crazy with skincare and then this will just be of an evening when i'm taking makeup off etc oh yeah also no matter how drunk i am no matter what time of the morning it is doesn't matter i will always get a shower and take my makeup off it could be six o'clock in the morning i have done it before i still do it like it used to be a running thing when i used to come home and that night out when i live with my mum's my mum and dad's I'd be like getting showers at six o'clock in the morning and my mum's up used to it and they were like, she get a shower like <laughs> So yeah, so I'm always like no matter what time, no matter how drunk I am, I will take my makeup off and I'll put something like this on afterwards just to like let it soak into my skin. It's just a gorgeous um oil and then it also I also got sent this as well from the range. This is the cream. So I'm gonna take that with me as well because I've been using it and I've actually really been enjoying it. It's such a lightweight consistency and I think it'll be lovely on holiday because of how lightweight it is. So I'm just going to take them. Then another moisturiser. I've got like two of everything. I've got like two oils, two, S two SPFs, two um, hydrators. But yeah, anyway, two cleansers. And then also for moisturiser as well. I do like to take this because I just love the little glow it gives to my skin. And this is from Alex Steiner and it's from a Primark range. And this is Plump and Glow. And it's so lovely on the skin. So I'll probably day to day, most days I probably will just use something like this and like Marine or um, the Hyaluronic Acid and like a cleanser and then an SPF. But as I say, I do always just like to have the option I don't like when I get on holiday and I've got limited choice. So yeah, so that's me um, moisturiser. Now come out, oh, I've actually got a vitamin C as well. I know, I know I'm pushing the boat up, but I love it. I love this serum as well. This is just from Balance Me. Again, I just like to ensure that I've got a good variety of products if I want to mix stuff up and bear in mind I am there for 10 days as well and every day when I do my skincare in here it's not always the same sometimes I'll, pick, I'll open my drawer and be like oh, I want to use that serum today I want to try that so that's just I just don't like to have a, not a big choice not a big variety if that makes sense I like a big variety if that makes sense of choice obviously when I'm going on holiday so I can't take everything but the kitchen sink which is what I normally do so obviously I have, I have got to take into consideration the weight and stuff like that I do know that but sometimes I think I would rather just make sure I've got all my goodies with me because I'm a little bit OCD then coming on to an eye cream I have loved this eye cream ever since they sent me it and oh yeah just I was going to say as well my skincare doesn't change really much on holiday. I'll add like products in which I'm gonna mention, but my actual routine is still pretty much the same, but I do add little bits of goodness and stuff. So coming on to eyes, as I've mentioned, this is such, oh, I just love it. It's such a gorgeous eye cream. And what I love most about it is the fact that it's got the stainless steel applicator on the top. It's instantly so cooling, refreshing, and just nice and calming on the skin. This is from Dalton, I've mentioned it before, and it's the eye gel for instant effect. It's just a hydrator. Oh my God, I love it. So we'll be using that. And what I will do as well, I'll also put this in the little mini fridge as well. What you get in the room. I'll be putting this in the fridge. I'll be putting some of my sprays. I'll put my face masks in the, in the fridge. Always just to keep it nice and cooler. And especially like after sun as well. Just because it makes you feel so much better when it's nice and cooler on your skin. And then coming on to an exfoliator. I do like to keep my skin nice and exfoliated on holiday. Think about it, you want your body all nice and buffed and polished and smooth all ready to tan oh, and also this ties in with exfoliation so what i like to do on holiday i like to take a face exfoliator with me and this is just from fresh i think it's the rose face mask yeah rose face mask and it's got like rose petals infused in it it's absolutely amazing but it's really gentle on the skin it looks like this <gasps> oh <gasps> never mind <laughs> Never mind. 
Um, but yeah, it's fabulous. Oh yeah, that smells nice. It's so nice. I'll see if I can show you a little bit on my hands. I love the packaging as well. It's so nice and heavy. So it looks like this. It's like a jelly form. And then once you work it into your skin, it's got, as I say, like little rose petals infused. Oh my God, it's just so nice. So yeah, so what I like to do, I like to like put this on my skin. And then what I will do of the evening, I like to buy these from Home and Bargain. They're literally a pound and all they are are exfoliating gloves. Do not use them on your face though, that's one thing I will say. Um, so what I will do of the evening is just very gently and lightly take these in the shower wet them and then just lightly get like a nice shower gel take like a nice shower gel this is from palm olive it's coconut cane i'm funny on smells i love like certain smells because it just reminds me of my holiday so i picked this one up yesterday in the asda and it's just a coconut oh my god i can already picture myself now in the shower feeling all amazing buffing my body <laughs> but yeah so something like this a nice little shower gel and then what i will do is just put the gloves on and just gently just buff away any dead skin cells because think about it obviously every day you shed dead skin cells i do this at home anyway as well but also with grace on holiday because think about it you're shedding dead skin cells you want fresh skin every day if you want your holiday tan to last as well the key is exfoliation especially if you're peeling or whatever anything like that always try and maintain your skin so whether that be putting like after sun on it or moisturizer or exfoliating it on your body it'll help to maintain your tan a little bit longer too so good point but always just make sure you really are gentle and do not use this on your face my mum's like that on her face like a brillo pad and i'm like mum like mum no but anyway. <laughs> so get a little pair of them that are over your pants in home work and you can get a couple of pairs if you wanted to and just keep them then for however long you're on holiday for but i really would recommend them i just i just think they're great for a great form of exfoliation but really gentle as well love those then coming on to oh one more product for skincare this is fresh again this is another fresh product this is just so amazing this is the i think it's a vitamin nectar water the glow antioxidant water like it's just i'd like this pass me a cosmopolitan girlfriend at the pool <gasps> i love it and i've got makeup on as well <laughs> just love it i just love being on holiday and feeling all good and good energy good vibes little cosmo with my hands yeah girl <laughs> yeah so that's me a um, face mist absolutely love face mist and kefir on holiday keep these in the fridge oh my god it will be a lifesaver you know when you're a little bit hot and you're a little bit misty or whatever spray this gorgeous okay so coming on to face masks i will always take a face mask away with me and i forgot to mention i'm actually away for my birthday I want to be turning 27 on my birthday away so i'm like oh girl i need to look as young as past i need to look as young as glowy as fabulous as ever as possible so i'm thinking i'm going to take this for me birthday night out which is a garnier you know you know i love a garnier this is just a little glow mask and my birthday is actually a saturday night well, what are the chances so i'm thinking yeah pull side with this one of a day so i'm going to take this for i think my birthday then i'm going to take another one this is just another garnier glow mask and then this one, this one looks amazing. This is Garnier. I used it last summer, loved it. It is from Garnier Amber Soleil and it's the After Sun Tissue Mask. And it intensely rehydrates and revitalizes immediately to soothe the skin. And tan looks more luminous. So I'll we'll definitely be taking one of these away. So I'll say it's a little After Sun Mask. I might even get a couple more of these as well, just because I like the idea of being great on your skin when you're not a little bit maybe sunburnt or whatever so they're my masks i'm really excited about them actually and as i say with this one i will do it on my birthday oh you should see me off what i've got for my birthday i absolutely love it need to be a size zero but yeah <laughs> um so i'm thinking i'll, I'll use that mask that day because i'll be all like glowy 27 steffy d in i'm actually going to turkey yeah i've got 20 minutes in nearly and i haven't even told you where i'm going yeah i'm going to turkey if all goes to plan hair care now because i told you it was going to be a long video didn't i anyway hair care so i have got three products i've just got a little mini shampoo and conditioner don't even ask i hate the fact that they're not matching but they were in the little um, i was in the asda the other day and you know the way you can get like your minis they didn't have no matching ones and i wanted the argan oil one because oh, i've used this before and i did like it but no they never so i was like oh i didn't want to have to get odds but it is what it is so this is just um from tresemme i've actually used both before but i do pr just prefer the argan oil um but I, and i didn't want to buy obviously big bottles because i was like i'm pushing it with me weight anyway on the case <laughs> 
with my weight too. <laughs> I thought I'm literally pushing it. I thought I'll get it. I'll put this case on the scales and I'll say 32. That happened once when I went to Dubai. And yeah, oh my god, I moved to Dubai one one year and quick story. And I put the case on the day. Um, I think with Emirates you got 30 kilogram and or 30, 30 kilogram you got with Emirates. And now bear in mind I was moving, so you've seen one of my kind of two week holiday. I was moving, I had everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> And they put it on the scales and it was it was 30 no it was 34 and the weight was 30 and i was just looking at the woman like that <laughs> and then she was like wait that physically can't go on like that's not even like health and for health and safety reasons someone could injure themselves carrying that and i was like oh. so i was like buy another bag of manny airport i was like throwing all stuff into for trying even and out and then when i finally got it to like what was a reasonable weight they had to put like big massive stickers around it saying bend and lift heavy and i was like oh it's my skincare <laughs> so yeah so i'm always a little bit thingy with the weight of my case i try and say that and i've got everything here but yeah so yeah so these are me um shampoo and conditioner so i've got a little tresemme one for dry damaged hair which is this one and then this one which is moroccan oil which is the argan oil sorry argan oil of morocco conditioner so yeah but what I am going to be doing day to day, I'm going to just be leaving this in here. It's a hair mask from L'Oreal. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've got a bigger one, but again, I need the smaller size just for just for the size and travel and stuff. And you might have noticed in like the last like few videos I've done, me I've got no extensions in because since lockdown, I can't seem to get my hair back to like a nice colour that I like, and my extensions don't match. So this is why my hair is always in a little little low bun. So, and also I'm giving my hair a break with extensions as well, so I'm trying to just let my hair grow. So what I thought, I would just leave this in up a day and then just wash it out of it nice and it just makes your hair so much so much more nicer as well. This is another situation I'm in. I don't know whether to colour my hair to go away with because I know the sun lightens it, but then I'm like, I'm not going to go away without colouring my hair. So, yeah, sticky situation I'm in. But yeah, that's from L'Oreal. That is the absolute repair and perfect for on holiday. And as I say, it's a little tub as well, so it just fits so cute in this little uh, bag <clears throat> and then just toothpaste dry shampoo this as well is what i'm going to be taking this again is another little mist but it's a tan of mist and i just think it's nice you know just on holiday just to have a day just spit it over my face and then throughout the throughout the day it'll just give us such a slight subtle glow it's nothing too intense it's really subtle but i just think it'd be so lovely on like a little fresh tan so i've brought that with me anyway just in case and then I always take me paracetamol and ibuprofen because I get the worst migraines. So I always have to have tablets with me just to make sure. Especially if I have a hangover. Oh my god, it's game over for Steffi Day. I also as well like to take a little Carmex. This is literally the best <laughs> lip balm I've ever used. I love it so much. And then just wipes as well for my makeup. Not to remove my makeup, I use my hands as a palette, so I have to have little wipes just to make sure I take everything off. Okay, now coming on to SPF and sun care. I absolutely love SPF and sun care. I love when I go on holiday, I love like getting new ones to smell them, and I normally tend to stick with the same brand. Yeah, I had so much what from brand sent me. I know Biozim sent me quite a few, and I literally use that in the summer. So, yes, I thought get myself new SPFs for my holidays. So as always, I always get a 50 and a 30. I don't go lower than 30. I always put 50 on my face anyway. Don't go lower than 50 on my face, but the lowest I go on my body is 30. Because I am quite fair as well, I do like to make sure that I'm always um, covered. So I've got a 50 from Pisbuen. Is it Pisbuen or Pisboon? Pisbuen. Pisbuen. We'll say Pisbuen. No, it's got to be Pisbuen. Pisbuen, anyway. And this is a 50 UVA UVB. It's very high and it smells incredible. So, oh my god. Oh, I got so excited. <laughs> I literally get so excited. I love when you smell something and it just takes you back to like your holidays. And this is why I always get a new body lotion so that it's a new smell so that when I smell it again, it reminds me of holidays. I just love stuff like that. But Pisburn is literally the most nostalgic, gorgeous holiday scent I've ever smelled. I can just see me, and just see me with my shades on, I can see me with my Cosmo, I can see myself like, yeah, this is me. Anyway, gorgeous. So yeah, I've got the 50 in the Pisbuen, which is the cream. Then, I don't know why I got a spray in the 30, I got a 30, again in Pisbuen. Um, and this is a spray. I didn't know which 
But which watch should I get? The spray or the cream? I thought, you know what? I'll just get both and just see what happens. Again, UVA, UVB, and this is the 30. And Owen will obviously be using some of this as well. I said, oh, I said to him, let me handle the SPF situation. And he was like, hey, um, he says, what's happening over sun cream? I said, well, you tell back seat, mister. Let me handle this. I've got this. I've got this under control. So he will be using them. I was like, oh, when you're not using no less than 30. And he goes lovely. He goes a lovely colour. And I was like, look, just protect your skin. You'd be sweet. And he was like, no, I think I want a 15. And I was like, yeah, all right. So I was like, you want it? I said, I'll get you one, obviously. I said, but I probably won't use it. And then I got this. <laughs> Don't ask why. I sent him two pictures and he was like, get me this one. And it's a 15 tannin oil. And I was like, oh. Anyway, again from Malibu. This brand reminds me as well. It reminds me very much of when I was a kid because my mum's me always been a sun worshipper. She literally loves the sun, but she's always made us completely be protected and always ensured we were safe and stuff but she always had malibu like my mum's quite dark as well she goes a gorgeous colour my mum and she always had this when we were kids and because she, she's got that olive sallow skin she just tans so quick i don't so she used to use this and it literally the smell this one reminds me of <laughs> so yeah so i got my 15 um tannin oil from malibu these were all really cheap that was in like 315 the omen bargain then I got a banana boat aloe vera gel for after sun. Again, I will keep this in the mini fridge in the hotel just because there's nothing worse when you're being on holiday and you're like, you literally can't move. Have you ever, have you ever been and you can't even put your bra on and you're like that? <laughs> so I thought I need to make sure that I've got all my stuff. I like to be prepared. That's one thing I do. I like to be prepared. So yeah, so this is just banana boat from, sorry, this is just aloe vera gel from banana boat. So yeah, I will keep that in the fridge and it says aloe vera gel gives you the cooling and soothing effect after sun relief if you need a few of skin. The gel is made of pure aloe vera to help you cool and soften the skin. And that is so good. Aloe vera is amazing for sunburn. And then I've also, because I've got to take it up a notch, like... I've got two aloe, two SPFs, two aloe veras. Like I'm just, I just do not like, I just don't like to not have enough. I know I'm weird, but yeah. So this is from Hawaiian Tropic and this smells amazing anyway. This sort of ties in with my body lotion, what I'm going to be taking with me. So this, as I say, is the Hawaiian Tropic and it's the Exotic Coconut. Oh my God. It's amazing. That's what it looks like. Again, it's after sun, but it also, because it smells so nice as well, I will always use it as a body lotion as well. When you know, when you're like, you come off from the pool. Yeah, I literally love this, you know, when you've gone up to the room and you're like, sorting yourself out for the night and literally lather yourself in this. Game changer. So yeah, I've got that. And then I've also, I picked this up yesterday because as I say, I love new body lotions and body creams. And I always had a new perfume in the airport. I've just got a thing with smells. I love, you've just seen my reaction then when I smell something, it just takes me back. I love smells and anything like that. So I always get myself a new body lotion, but it's got to be a new one. You always walk around the house to go and Steph, pick a lotion. And I was like, no mum, it's got to be a specific lotion. Yeah, I am weird with stuff like this. So I won't use one I've already used before because I like a new smell. So I'm literally in the Asda yesterday trying to smell them all and I picked this one. This is from Nivea and this is their coconut and manoil oil, I think it is. It looks like this. Again, quite a big bottle. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get done in on my aim. <laughs> definitely going to get me on my luggage, aren't they? On my weight. Oh my God. It, that is the most soft, subtlest, cleanest smell. It's such a soft smell, like it's barely noticeable if that makes any sense. So yeah, so I got this from Nivea for my body lotion. Then I also got this as a sample, I think it might have been from ASOS, I'm not sure. It's just, an, again, a Hawaiian tropic, but it's just a sample of their 30 cream. So I thought I will take that because it was between, funnily enough, when I was picking between Pittsburgh, it was between Pittsburgh and the Hawaiian tropic. And I was just, it was the smell. I just love the smell, I know. It's... It's the smell. I just love the smell. So yeah, so that's that. And then lastly is actual SPF for my face. So again, I'm weird. I don't like to put like these types of SPFs on my face. I know. I've got something wrong with me, haven't I? Um, I do like to use little SPF. These are what I will use on my face. Obviously, if I, if I didn't have these, I would put that on my face. I'm just, I'm just a weirdo. So I bought these two, which are my absolute 
all-time favourite ever SPFs. I'm sure you all know by now La Roche Posay from Antelios. Absolutely amazing, amazing SPF. I've loved it for so long. It's a chemical SPF as well, so it's perfect for me. It doesn't water my eyes, which is a huge thing, especially on holiday. The last thing you want on holiday is to be rubbing your eyes, especially in the water, and if it all rolls, to just sting. There's nothing worse. I literally remember I went on holiday with my family a few years ago, and one of the kids was literally screaming, crying with the sun cream in their eyes, and I was like, oh, like it's 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 a, not a nice feeling. It's just a horrible feeling. So that's why it's such a key thing for me when it comes to SPF to make sure it doesn't sting my eyes because it's just a no go. So as I say, I've got the Roche Posay. This is a fifty, and then I've got Garnier's latest, which is their sensitive UV face fluid, which I've mentioned before. I've spoke about it on the blog. I've done a video on it. Oh my god, I just absolutely love it. This is like the dupe for this. This is usually around thirteen, fourteen pounds. This is like seven pounds. So amazing. But I'm still gonna take the both because I've not got much left of that. I don't think. So I'm gonna take those. But I just. I just love chemical SPFs and also what I did notice as well with the Pisbuen, I noticed that these are chemical SPFs as well. When I was looking on the ingredients, I couldn't see nothing to say it contains um, titanium dioxide or zinc oxide. Yeah, there's nothing on here. These are chemical SPFs, which is even which is perfect again. So, yeah, I'm just so excited, really. So, yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you've all enjoyed it. I am so sorry it was so long. But I just get so excited and I love like packing and everything like that. So thank you so much for watching and if you've stayed around, thank you so much. I hope you all have a lovely weekend, whatever you get up to. If you're going on holiday, have a fabulous holiday. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. It's just skincare with Stephanie and I will be putting some holiday tips up and a few little other pics too. But have a fabulous weekend. See you all soon and I'll see you after my holidays. Take care. Bye.